Hey everyone, welcome to Mary's Make Shop. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a tool touch off to zero in your Z axes. So mine actually came with my engraver, but you can find these online on eBay, Amazon. Um, really, I just searched router mill zero uh, touch plate and all of these came up under four bucks. This is actually how I uh, wired mine up to my Acorn and I'll include the link to this schematic in my uh, description. So how did I find out that you could do this? I went to centroidcncforum.com and went to the Centroid Acorn CNC controller. This has so much information in it, but the tool setting options for routers, DIY CNC Scott just uh, posted on Tuesday, and he actually gave a couple macros for setting up uh, your, your tool touch off. So the second one was to jog over the tool and then the third one was to have it permanently in a fixed location. I just wanna jog um, to the location on my part. So before I actually saved it, um, I went in and found where this macro is stored and that's just in your local C directory, CNCM. If you scroll down, you'll see mfunc6. And I took my current mfunc6 and I copied it and made a backup. I am always so afraid of upgrading anything and my setup not working, especially when it is working, don't wanna fix anything that's not broken. But anyway, so I just made a copy and called that mfunc6 backup so that when I save this new macro six, um, if it doesn't work out, I can always just go back to the one I had previously. So I hit save as, and I named it mfunc6. You can just click on that to make sure the name is exactly um, what it's supposed to be. So whenever the m6 uh, command is called, this is actually uh, what, what uh, code is executed. So I'm gonna link to this post in the description. Make sure you follow these directions as I did. Um, I'm gonna point out just a couple things. The first one, it says, use the wizard to set the PLC input for probe tripped NC, usually seven. So, and then of course, hit right set settings. So you're opening up the CNC wizard. You're gonna go in the primary system configuration down to input seven, make sure it says probe tripped and NC or normally closed and then write the settings. I already did. Um, let me just show you. This is what is the tool touch off. Um, it's just plastic on the edges, aluminum. It has aluminum plate on it. And here's the little uh, grabber or alligator clip that clips onto your uh, tool. So we're just going to first measure the uh, width of the tool touch off. And this is actually pretty cool because if you get the width of this, you can just put it right on your part and you don't have to measure the thickness of your part. So let's see, I got 0 0.763 inches. Now with this width, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into setup, then into config or F3, and then you're gonna go into parameters and you're gonna look for parameter 71. And in parameter 71, um, you're actually gonna type in the width or height of your tool touch off part. So for me, I got 0 0.763. And I'm gonna hit enter, but always make sure you have to save this. Um, so F10 or save. So now that we got that, we can just start um, my program. So with mine, it has go jogging to X0, Y0, but then there you can see the M6 function and it's gonna go to the tool change position or home. Now it says, please change tool to tool number one, plus cycle to start. I already did that, so I'm just gonna hit start. Then it says the current material thickness is zero, which I want, and then a couple other options. I'm just gonna hit one to auto reset current zero. I don't wanna deal with material thickness. And now it's gonna say put clip on cutter and jog the cutter over the top of the tool touch off. So one thing I would say um, with the alligator clip is just make sure the clip is closer to the tip um, of your tool. I used this once before and the clip was on um, and it was a little too high up and it didn't recognize when it hit my tool touch off. So be safe out there and everyone have their hand on press to reset. Uh, anyway, so now that it's clipped, you're just gonna jog to your part. Um, mine, of course, is just this wooden block that I planed, so it's not perfectly flat, but it'll do. So once you've, um, you're over your part, you can just place your tool touch off there, and then you hit start. 
So now you let the magic begin and it's going to um, jog down until it touches the plate and then it'll just go back up. So that was a success and then it tells you remove clip from cutter, then turn spindle on, press cycle to start. So that's all I have for this one. Um, the next video I'm going to be showing you uh, that I started this cut and then mid cut I actually did a uh, tool change and then re-zeroed my z-axis. So definitely check that out. As always, any questions, comments, please leave them in the comments below. Catch you on the next one.